We raise racehorses that are housed in the pastures of the bluegrass. We are relentless in our pursuit of the best breeding, the best physicals, the best possible outcome for our broodmare band and for people that buy our racehorses. We take pride in having success with the horses that we've sold and the horses that we race. Hey everyone, Nicole Russo coming to you for the DRF Pedigree Report from Lexington, Kentucky, where the three-day book one portion of the Keeneland September yearling sale wrapped up last night with strong figures, a 30% gain in average price for this segment of the market overall, an 18% gain in the median, and an improved buyback rate. Let's take a closer look at the star yearling who led those proceedings and made some history in the process. This filly by Triple Crown winner and leading freshman sire American Pharaoh and out of Broodmare of the Year Leslie's Lady sold for $8.2 million to Mandy Pope yesterday to lead the way. The filly is a half-sister to four-time Eclipse Award heroine Beholder, grade one winner and leading sire into mischief and globe-trotting grade one winner Mendelssohn. In addition to that resume for Leslie's Lady, two other things driving up this filly's value. One, this is likely to be the last foal ever offered out of Leslie's Lady. The mare has a not-this-time filly who she delivered in May and is back at foal to Cantharos. She will be 24 when she delivers that foal, and the plans are to retire her at that point and for breeder Clarkland Farm to keep her last two foals. Secondly, three of Leslie's Lady's daughters have already produced stakes horses, pushing this filly's residual value as a broodmare even higher. Mandy Pope, of course, has an outstanding broodmare band full of collector's items. The price she paid for this filly surpassed the $4.4 million Shadwell paid for a filly named Moon's Whisper in 2000 as the highest price ever for a yearling filly at Keeneland September. And among the sales highest prices among both Colts and Phillies, she is tied for fourth all time. So with that historic sale, book one is well in the books, but Keeneland September resumes on Friday and continues through September 22nd. We'll keep you posted on notable horses and other developments on DRF.com and right here on DRF TV. And remember, all our coverage of this yearling sales season is presented by Stone Street Farm.